In the kaleidoscope of television history, the TV show MASH is a sparkling gem that twinkles in the night sky. From 1972 to 1983, MASH was the light in the darkness of network TV. Its mix of heart and humor made our lives brighter each week. Its last episode is still a standard for how a TV show should end, and over 100 million people watched it with tears in their eyes to say goodbye to their favorite characters. But have you ever wondered why one of the most beloved characters in television history abruptly left the show in the prime of his career and at the height of the show's popularity? Today, we peel back the curtain and uncover the real reason Gary Berghoff, better known as the endearing Radar O'Reilly, walked away from the acclaimed TV series MASH on this episode of Rerun Zone. The characters on MASH were all unforgettable, but among the glittering ensemble was one Walter Radar O'Reilly, the unassuming cap-wearing corporal with a heart as vast as the Korean countryside where the show was set. Portrayed to heart-tugging perfection by Gary Berghoff, Radar embodied the innocence and resilience of an everyman thrown into the whirlwind of war. Interestingly, Berghoff is the only star who hopped from Robert Altman's 1970 film onto the TV adaptation's bandwagon, acting as the heartwarming connective tissue between two storytelling mediums. But then, at the end of the seventh season, like a summer love story, he was gone. Returning in a two-part farewell episode in the eighth season, Berghoff gave his curtain call. We hoped he might drop by from time to time, like an old friend who unexpectedly shows up at your door. But unfortunately, that was not the plan in the grand script of life. Gary's choice to leave the 4077th was difficult, but the call of his home and loved ones was stronger. A terrifying incident, a brush fire that endangered his house and family, provided him with clear insight. His family's safety was compromised, and the stark truth of life's transient nature, of how rapidly things can change, drew him away from the MASH sets. Berghoff chose his family. He chose life over scripts and genuine smiles over rehearsed laughter. His sporadic appearances on After MASH and the short-lived TV show Walter offered glimpses of the radar we loved, but Berghoff had charted a new course, one that wouldn't rob him of precious family time. You see, Berghoff may have faded from our screens, but he thrived elsewhere. He danced to the tunes of his hobbies, painting, music, fishing, and even securing patents for fishing inventions. Stamp collecting, another passion, filled his time, crafting a beautiful off-screen life. Years later, Berghoff briefly appeared in Daniel's Lot, a film echoing his personal journey of re-evaluating priorities. Post-MASH, he navigated the turbulent waters of two ended marriages, but found joy in the company of his children. MASH, even without Radar's charm, stood tall, yet its tapestry was undoubtedly more vibrant with Berghoff's touch. Berghoff is still active today at the ripe age of 80, with his life compass still firmly focused on his family. Although he's had some financial troubles over the years, he didn't revert to the familiar realm of acting for salvation. Instead, he turned to his artistic talents dabbling with paint and canvas. To his good fortune, he proved to be as adept with a paintbrush as he was with a script, creating captivating portraits of North American wildlife. He found recognition and appreciation in numerous galleries nationwide, with his art pieces fetching up to $25,000 each. So how does this tale of a star choosing family over fame resonate with you guys? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And let's reminisce about this golden era of television together. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. But most of all, thanks for watching. This is Rich from Rerun Zone. I'll see you in my next video.